It's the iconic instrument that helped start a music revolution. Launching the Beatles from basement performances to superstardom. When we started off, we, we all had guitars. I actually ended up sort of getting lumbered with bass because our bass player left. But the guitar Paul McCartney first played with the Beatles, a 1961 Hofner violin bass, went missing after the recording of Let It Be. The mystery of Sir Paul's favorite instrument now being pieced together for the first time. I think it's a bit like a jigsaw, really. So. All thanks to investigative journalists Scott and Naomi Jones. Late last year, they teamed up with Nick Wass from Hofner Instruments, launching thelostbase.com. Their dogged research finding it was stolen in 1972 before changing hands. That base the most important base in the history of rock and roll, the most important base in the history of music, actually changed hands in a London pub for a couple of quid and some free beer. Turns out the guitar stayed in that same family and just 10 miles or so from the music megastar all this time. As news of the search grew louder, they turned it in. This intrepid team found out in a phone call from McCartney himself. What was that moment like? This guy comes on the phone saying, hey, hey, Nick, we've got the bass. Um, we found it. We've, it's been handed in. We've got the bass. And I'm thinking, who's this idiot? But you know who it was. It was Paul. And he, he phoned me up to tell me they, they actually got the bass. McCartney grateful for all the sleuthing and that the bass was back in his hands. I always had faith that I would find it. But sometimes I also thought, well, you know, this thing's been gone so long uh, and nobody's ever seen it. And I did, did often wonder if I was crazy, you know, for looking for it. <laughs> the mystery over. The guitar back to where it always belonged. Savannah Sellers, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.